Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on trig equations. We're going to be solving this. The best way to get starting this one is take the cosine x out. And then you have a, basically what you're doing is factoring it. Okay, so we're going to solve it as the same way we factor it. We have two solution here, cosine x equal to 0, or 2 sine x plus 1 equal to 0. We're going to solve each one separately. And then once you get those equations set up, the best way to do is draw the curves. Okay, so this is 2 pi, this is the cosine. As from the curve, you can say cosine x equal to 0 when x equal to pi over 2. And this one is 3 pi over 2. So we're going to write it as 2n pi where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, so on and so forth. That's this point here. Or x equal to 3 pi over 2 plus 2n pi, where n equal to 0, 1, 2, so on and so forth. Okay. So all I did is draw the curve here. Once I have the equation, draw the curve, and then I have two points, one here, one here. And I started writing the solution. This is the solution in the first quadrant. And then since it's repeat, it's cyclical, so I have to write 2n pi. Unless on the test, the teacher tells you just find a from 0 to 2 pi, then you stop there. For this half, it's exactly identical to what we did. And the only difference is the sine curve and is equal to minus half. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw the sine curve. Minus half, it's halfway because it's bonded. But plus minus 1. So here's my theta 1 and theta 2. And here's my x-axis. Now, it's really helpful when you have a minus sign here. A lot of students say, well, what do I do? Here's what you do first. You do the simplest one. Sine theta equal to half. Theta is uh, 30 degrees, so which is pi over 6. Okay. Treat this one as your reference angle. And then, on the curve, you're just going to move reference angle away to get desired results. So here's what we mean. Theta 1 is pi over 6 away from the reference point of pi. Now remember you have to use pi and 2 pi. In a minute I'll tell you why. And the theta 2 here is 2 pi minus pi over 6. So we have x1 is equal to, uh, let's see, what do we have? 7 pi over 6. And then x2 here is uh, 11 pi over 6. The reason we start from pi and 2 pi is this. When an angle goes around, we always measure from the x-axis. Okay, so here is your angle here, and this is pi. And this is our reference angle. Okay. So on the test, make sure you draw this one. You see where theta 1 and theta 2 is. Locate the nearest pi and 2 pi and go from there. All right. Now to be complete on this one, x1 is equal to 7 pi over 6 plus 2n pi and equal to 0, 1, so on and so forth. x2 is equal to 11 pi over 6 plus 2n pi and equal to 0, 1, 2, so on and so forth. Okay, That's how we solve this problem. Let's do, do one more. This is an interesting problem. We have given that sine x plus cosine x tangent to square x equal to 0. We're asked to solve this one. Let's clean up a little bit in that cosine x times sine squared x and cosine squared x. I use the definition for tangent. Okay. And then cosine cancels out. If I pull the sine x out, I have 1 plus tangent of x equal to 0. It's really interesting. Of course, we're going to solve the same thing. I have a sine x equal to 0. Sine curve says any multiple of pi. So x is equal to pi plus 2n pi. And equal to 0, so on and so forth. x could also be 2 pi plus 2n pi. So on and so forth. Okay, so that's the first solution. So long as a multiple of pi, I have an equation established. For this half, I have tangent to x equal to minus 1. Once again, we'll go for the reference angle. Reference angle is just the easy way to say in the first quadrant, what angle 
is equal to 1. Theta, of course, equal to pi over 4. That's a 45 degree angle. Okay. Now, with this minus sign, then I have a lot more emulation to find out where they are. Sine and cosine are opposite in quadrant 1 at 2. So here, tangent is less than 0, and then tangent theta is less than 0. So here's one of my angle, which is minus pi over 4, or if you want to see it the other way around, so it's 2 pi minus pi over 4, which is really, um, let's say, 4, 8, 7, 7 pi. Okay. Another one angle is this way, because I got to end in quadrant 2 here. So for this angle, it's really pi over 2 plus pi over 4, which is 3 pi over 4. Okay, so that's the two solutions. All right, I hope this is clear. This is how we solve this type of problem. Please comment on YouTube and let me know if it was helpful to you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. For more math answers, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a confident day.